Okay, YouTubers, here the uh, the point of this video. I actually searched YouTube trying to figure out how much RG6 deteriorates your internet signal when you have gig service. So this is where it's coming in from from outside my house. It comes from an RG11. There's about maybe a two to three foot run of RG6, which comes into the house, <clears throat> which is connected to this white uh, RG6, which is probably, in my guess, it's probably going to be about, I'd have to say about 30 to 35 feet of RG6 cable, which runs across my basement to my modem. And then my modem is attached to my router in the other room here through the, through the wall here uh, via a Cat8 cable that I just bought. It's about a six foot run of Cat8 cable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some internet speed tests directly from the modem. Uh, first, running through this entire run of 30 or so feet of RG6. Uh, and then I'm going to disconnect the modem from this end of the cable. And I'm going to connect it directly from where it comes in from Xfinity and run the same test. Just to see how much this run of RG cable is deteriorating my internet signal. Okay, so I've connected my Mac uh, directly to the modem. There's no router involved here, so it's the only thing connected to the internet right now. But it's uh, connected through CAT8 uh, cable. Again, the purpose of this video is to see how much coaxial cable, long runs of coaxial cable, can interfere with your internet connection. Um, like I said, I think I have about 30 plus, 35 feet of uh, RG6 running from where the RG6 comes in from Comcast or Xfinity to the other side of my basement here uh, where it would connect to the modem and then actually through the wall it was going to the router. So first run here, so we're connected through the RG6 cable here. So I'm going to get close so you can see, maybe turn this this way. Try to run this mouse with my left hand. The he real humor would be my computer falling off this bucket for you guys. All right, so first run. Okay, ping's a little slower. Okay, eight. I'm gonna do this a few times. Downloads definitely improved from running off the Wi-Fi, but that's to be expected. Everything's a little faster now that I'm hardwired, obviously. All right, so I'm going to do this a couple times. So first run, we got about 940 down, 41.9 up. The ping's a little bit lower than it has been going Wi-Fi, which again is expected. Let's do this like three times here. Let's use up all my data. In the name of science. My my neighbors are probably streaming 4K, those fuckers. This is a little disappointing. Let's try this one more time here, and we're going to actually cut out all that cable and see how much better the performance is. Sorry about my shaky hand. There's better ways of doing this, but I'm choosing not to. This looking a little better. All right, again, this isn't fiber, so the upload speeds aren't quite as good. It's three runs running through the RG6. Okay, I'm going to shut her down here and move the modem and see how it's Okay, so as you can see, I've moved my modem pretty much over here, right where it comes out of the, uh, out of the window from Comcast. So you're looking at probably maybe at tops three feet of RG6, which is connected to the RG11, which comes off the pole. Uh... K8 
Cat 8 uh, Ethernet cable running directly from the modem to the computer. Again, the point of this video is to see whether I should move my modem over here and then spend 30 bucks on a Cat 8 cable to run all the way directly to my Wi-Fi router just to see how much uh, signal degradation happens through this uh, RG6 cable. So here we go. Let's go this way again. Sorry for the shaky camera. I had a lot of coffee. All right. Ping's about the same. Definitely hit 900 the first time. We did that last time though. Let's see what happens after two, you know, three runs. Downloads about the same as the uh, a little better. All right, so it definitely looks better on the first run a little bit. Let's see if, uh, if we can do this three times in a row. Force ping, same thing though, we're hitting close to 900, 800. Nine. Kind of getting dangerously close to what Comcast is uh, selling me here. Again, 40. All right, third try. Yeah, this is a... Uh, definitely better you know obviously there's a lot less of a run but I think uh, you know basically comparing this cat 8 cable to the RG6 and uh, definitely think I'd be better off just getting a nice 30 something foot run of cat 8 and running it directly from the modem over here okay so now I'm up at the computer and the plan here is to purchase that cat 8 cable and then do a video uh, similar video running from the router, uh, one with the new Caddy cable I'm planning on buying, which is going to extend from pretty much the modem, which I'm going to move over to where the uh, Comcast inlet is, uh, running via the RG6 to the router, and then I'm going to swap that RG6 cable out with the Caddy just to see how much faster, uh, after I run the actual length, uh, using the uh, the Cat8 versus the RG6 coax cable. Uh, hopefully, we can start seeing some more videos. Obviously, this I didn't put my heart and soul into the production of this in any regards. Um, but hopefully, we can start seeing some more videos comparing dissimilar types of cables and uh, the speeds of them versus all the videos that are, you know, comparing Cat6 to Cat7 to Cat8 and so forth. So if you like this video and you want to see how it continues, hit subscribe. Appreciate that. And just remember, I love you.